Hello everyone, this is Cindy at C Source Energy Epiphanies and founder of the C Technique EFT Plus. This video here is about my numerology readings. And what I'm doing here is posting this video the very first time on three different pages. My Facebook page at Cindy Magnuson, my business page, which you can find by going to Facebook at The C Technique, and that will come up as C, Source Energy Epiphanies, The C Technique EFT Plus, and the third page is Feminine Frequency Radio Network. Now, if you share this video, and you are one of the first seven people who share the video, and then write the word shared in the comments underneath the post, I will contact you and do an online reading just like this is I'm going to show you how and what you would be receiving um, an online reading on zoom where I can share screen with you zoom is free to register and I am able to share the screen with you and show you where I am reading from and then I would be sending you your numbers chart afterwards so that you would be able to read for yourself and um, see what's going on with your numerology. Now, so if you are viewing this video and you didn't get the opportunity to receive one of the free 20 minute sessions that I will give online for those that will be 21 people, I will be doing those readings in March. Then another opportunity that you have is tomorrow night, which will be February 28th, my radio show, Twilight Epiphanies Talk Radio, and that gets posted on my Facebook page in these all three pages, actually, that I've mentioned here. And I'm going to be doing live numerology readings, so you can call in and try to get a reading during that show, which will almost be a two-hour show. And depending upon how many people are there, I'll just keep reading for you know, someone who calls in and... Um, We'll you'll see, I'm kind of announcing a little bit late, so we'll, we'll uh, see if I can hustle up some people who want to uh, call in and get a free reading online, um, maybe do about 20 minute readings online with people. Then your third opportunity would be, since you may have missed the first two, the third opportunity is for a $10 discount. My website is a ctechnique.com, T-H-E, S E E technique, T E C H N I Q U E dot com. And if you order any of my services, any service that is $60 and up, you can receive a $10 discount just by mentioning that you saw this video. Okay? So I'm going to talk about numerology. I love numerology, I've been doing it for over 20 years already. I started off way back when we didn't have computers to do the calculations. So I was doing all the calculations by hand and writing up charts by hand. So I got a very thorough understanding of numerology that way and uh, understanding how each of the calculations work, for example. So I'm, I have a tendency to, once I get into looking at the numerology charts here that I'm going to bring up very quickly, um, I have a tendency to start getting a little bit um, over explaining. So I'm going to do my best to keep this very simple. I always want everyone to learn a lot and um, have the opportunity to you know, utilize the time with me as much as possible in a very productive um, framework. So what I'm gonna do is show you here by sharing screen with you. I just uh, made up a name. And so the name that I made up was Amy Rose Hart. Uh, who got married then, and her common name that she goes by now is Amy Cooper. So uh, if I was working with you in doing a numerology reading, I can work with you at, online anywhere in the world. And in 
if you don't have access to a computer to doing this this way, I also can do this over the phone. And then I would be sending you this color chart here. So what this particular chart has done is it breaks down the name and the birth date here into the calculations that I read from. So I sit down with this and start looking at putting all of these energies together into what your energy story is here. What is the reason that you highlighted these particular archetypes and time frames to move through? Because the numbers here are representing experiences that for one here this is your expression number this is received by adding your name together all the way and then it comes up to your expression number okay so i'm saying that like everybody might understand that but what happens is the letters of the alphabet are each assigned a number and it's just by sequencing a is one b is two c is three d is four uh, e is five, for example, and then the double digit numbers like we see here, the double digit 25 is actually noted as a seven because you add the two digits together to get a single number. So basically in numerology, you're really functioning a lot with the numbers one through nine because all double digits can reduce to a nine. And I don't want to get off, as I said, sometimes I want to explain so much. I don't want to get off onto a tangent of uh, talking about the references of why they do it this way or what it means, why they use these numbers. But note that in general, you're working with one through nine and then the numbers 11, 22, and 33, which represent 12 numbers. And if you've studied esoteric concepts here, you understand and metaphysically that everything is built here on 12s. And we will just leave it at that. That is another discussion. So when I sit down here and read for you, we are going to look at your life path number, which is the theme of your life. It is the theme of your book. It is it is the grand energy important lesson that you are most mastering in this lifetime. And everything else within here falls under that nine. That's your grand big cycle. That is the cycle that you are in now. I want to note, and since this name, actually the name didn't add up to a nine here, but the birth date is what added up to a nine. So I had placed the birthday in here as November 21st, 1975. And then in reducing those energies here, we it's a two, a three, and a four. So two plus three is five plus four is nine. And that's how there's a nine energy here. So What we do, what this means is that from the birth date, this gives us the largest span of energy over everything here, which is the nine. And when someone sees a nine, I've watched people kind of reference that. They take that into it is meaning they are at a completion of everything. And they sometimes tend to note it and, and reference it in their mind as being, well, I've completed everything then because I'm at a nine. And uh, in doing, you know, over a thousand, a couple thousand maybe readings already, I'm very well aware that many people have nines here and they are not at a high level of soul evolution. For example. So you have to reference the nine per what is absolutely your fundamental entire big picture. And that is where 
a very good numerology reader and someone who's very intuitive as well as has a great deal of esoteric understandings for interpreting what that nine specifically means for you. Nine is a time frame of completion. Nine means that you have now had many lessons that you are coalescing into a unified sense of, well, I had all these experiences, I completed uh, karma, I'm finishing up now looking at what should stay and what should go before I take my next step into, in a sense, a higher octave. And again, like I said, the higher octave depends on what rung of the ladder you're on, okay? Because you could be on the bottom and taking one step up. You could be right near the top and taking a step up. So, but, this is a little disclaimer, I'm not, I don't really like the up, down, the higher, the lower. We have to remember that the nine is a sequencing, but every single step which is in there from one to nine is similar to how the life spectrum is sprayed out into a rainbow of colors and all of those colors represent what came from one single space divided. So there isn't really anything that's ahead or behind. It just denotes something, okay? It gives you a reference for where you're at. And so numbers are both archetypes of characteristics and as well, they also represent an, a process, just like adding one plus two together makes a three. It's a creation process, just like in a sense then the Fibonacci series, you are adding together something to the past. You are adding the present to the past and you're coming up with something new. Okay, so it's creation in a process, and as well, it represents archetypal characteristic. But I do want to take this opportunity to say in reference to archetypal characteristics. We have to remember that archetypal character references are only how energies have been used in the past. If we adopt everything is absolute, there's not going to be any room for change. We have to remember that all of our archetypes only represent what has been recorded in time according to how energy sequences were utilized, how, how anything that became divided and fractal off of the original, the first 12 archetypes that come off the source energy here, or the first four and then, then 12, they're archetypes, but the flavors in there, the degrees in there are multiple and how they're utilized through a human brings it to a human experience. Doesn't mean it's absolute. It just means that's how it's been utilized. So archetypes are recorded history of energies that in the collective consciousness, they need to be adaptable, they need to be changeable. And that's a Cindy theory in there. And that's a strong Cindy opinion and a strong Cindy theory. And I'm not budging on that. And there will be other talks where I talk with other people also a little bit more about that. And the openness that we need to have when we are referencing these energies. In my opinion, and here this is from age zero as it goes on by each different age. This is the year 1975 I wrote is the birth date and this is the years as we go on. So we can go right here to 
2019 and see what this person is underneath here. And in a sense, these energies here are because you have chosen to highlight certain experiences from the past. So in a sense, sort of as they say, the winds of Dharma pull you in, the winds of karma pull you in, you have experiences here according to what you have already created. So in a sense, I tend to look at this almost as the past and it's mutable. It's similar to me to a Groundhog Day and you have the opportunity, just like the Groundhog Day movie, to change how you wish to change it in the present. So that's where I do not hold anyone to absolutes in here because you have the opportunity of choice. I will say these energies are heavy on you because we tend to fall into repetitive patterns and everybody tends to feel more comfortable with repeating. And if you're going through a challenging space that you've walked before through, well, sometimes people are afraid. Sometimes that fear over, is overwhelming. It becomes too much. And they have a difficult time leaving it. But that's why you're here right now. In the huge grand cycle of everything that we're going through, we are in a nine time frame. We're in the nine time frame of the age of Pisces in a sense. We are leaving an age. What do we have to do now? We want to look at that and say, what served us, what didn't? So anyone here who is paying the piper, who is diving in and getting deep to past life spaces where they have left parts of themselves with unresolved issues, this is your big opportunity. This is your chance. So it's nothing absolute here but there is a foundational truth that we're going to see, but it is highly mutable. And that's very significant, highly mutable. Okay. So your life path, which comes from adding your month, day, and year that you were born, life path number, and then your name gets each letter is reduced, changed to a number. And then each section of your name is added together in order to get a single digit. And then those digits are added up. So A is a 1, M is a 4, Y is a 7. Those added together are 12. 1 plus 2 is a 3. First name adds up to a 3. Middle name a 3. Last name a 7. Add that together and you have a 13 which is a 13-4 that happens to be a karmic number. I'm not going to get into those uh, references right now. And that is your expression number, and that's your characteristics. Now, what I have the chance to do in this is answer why sometimes different numbers come out in the life path, why do different numbers come out in the expression number. I'm not going to go deeply into that right now. I just want this to be an intro video, but all of that... Um, has a reference for something. There are, all, there are three different ways that you can, name, you can add the life path up. There are two different ways that you can add the birth, the, I'm sorry, the name up. So you might get a 31-4, a 13-4, a 22-4 here, which would mean then that the 22 is a what they call master level number, and it would have a slightly different reference. I talk about that in your numerology reading. I also make sure that I do in case it's relevant and you might have a master level energy here. I make sure that I do when the, there's a certain lower number here. I do three calculations to make sure that I let you know what other types of references you might have. So your two most significant numbers are the life path here and the expression number. And these, your expression number, are the characteristics that you have as you walk the theme of nine 
in this lifetime, this particular incarnation. And then most of your energies that you are, are these two grand numbers. So most of you, okay? And then these other numbers here, your heart's desire, your soul's desire for being here, your personality number, which tends to be what we might kind of call the lesser personality. It's the energy that most people first see about you. Behind the scenes, you open up a little bit more into your uh, heart's desire number. And then the birth date number here is another portion of this is your special skills that you have. But these three numbers are em sort of embedded within here a little bit more into the expression number. So these three are subcomponents of your expression number. So again, you might pick up something and it gives you the two um, numbers here and you're going, oh, well, I'm not really like that. Uh, I'm a little bit different than that. Well, of course, because you also have three other numbers that are influencing this. Not only they're influencing it, but there's a reason why they're there. There is an energetic reason for these energies being here. And what the computer program can't do is summarize these five core numbers here. That's what they're called all together. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. I also look at references in your name, letters in your name. I look at what letters, numbers are represented, which are not represented. What do you have most represented of your name? This down here are calculations for what your challenges are. Very significant. I tend to read again very loosely compared to what is written in a computerized program. So a computerized program will give you general data. It'll teach you just by even receiving a, num um, a numerology program, a computerized program, which when I work with you, I give you anywhere from 25 pages, single typed pages to 45 pages, giving you also monthly information about what types of energy cycles you're moving through. So with this um, reference here then, I'm computing this all together and a big picture starts to come into play. Also, I take into consideration what are the energies of your minor expression numbers, which is your common name here. This will also tell a story over here. The three components out of the name are the expression number, the heart's desire, and then the personality number. So these three numbers that you picked up, for example, when you got married and changed your name, also have a reference and they're clues here. This in the middle here is a, is a completely different reading called the diamond reading. These are the planes of expression here, those real, rational number, balance number, and other numbers that are um, off to the side here, cornerstone, capstone, etc. And then these three wheels here go by each uh, year that you're in. What is the personal year you're in, the personal month, and the personal essence number? And that is sort of something that's similar to astrology and um, the cycles that you move through in astrology, which brings us down to this wonderful waveform. So this particular sheet here that I print up for you, I print up two sheets for you. I give you from birth, to the 549, which as far as these go. And then I also pull up and give it to you as soon as you receive the reading from age 50 on, and it gives you to 100. So, you know, you do reading with me, I'm gonna give you all of your numbers. These up here do not ever change unless at some point you change your name in here. Uh, these three would change, that's all. But this gives you the different energies that you're moving through on each year. So this is the age. This is called the physical transits. This is your first name here. A is a value of one, so it's only represented once. 
M has a value of four, so it's represented four times. Y has a value of seven, so it's represented seven times, and so on. And since she has a nice small name here, that Amy repeats itself in these cycles. And that says what energy on the physical plane you're experiencing. Then we have the mental transit. So the mental transit is runs the same way, but with the middle name. And then the spiritual transit runs the same way with your last name. All of those added up creates an essence number. So every year I can read and help to show you how by these representations of energies, what types of experiences you have upcoming. And obviously here we are in 2019. So when we look hindsight back here and start to read some of these energies, it starts to establish a relationship with how you have been using your energies thus far, what decisions you've been making with them. So you start to see patterns in your life. Um, and again, what we are doing here is I am reading, would be reading, let's say the person's here, I would be reading energies also moving into the future. I always do a current focus of about approximately the first three years that you're in here. I give you information for, um, I would give you in the numerology reading information for 2019, 2020, and 2021, which would include these pinnacle changes here. These are different cycles that you move through, and those were calculations that came out of your birth date. And then all of these energies up here, I'm looking at them, reading them together. I'm also reading them according to intuitively how you are working through them. So being highly empathic and intuitive when I work with you, I'm not going to read absolutes on paper. I'm going to also read how you are moving through these energy cycles thus far. Again, remember everything's mutable. If I'm feeling and I can determine that you are moving into something that you are improving yourself and you are working well with your energies, we're going we're gonna to go, okay, yeah, that's good. Stay with what you're doing. If I'm sensing that I'm feeling there's something that's out of harmony or out of balance, then we work with that. So not only do I do the numerology reading with you here in the energies, we're going to work with what you are finding the most conflict with and most challenging with moving through either a certain cycle or some energetic pattern that's represented in here, because that's what we want to do. We want to improve it. So um, what, again, what I do is give you all of these calculations and then the numerology computerized program writes out for you these first five core numbers I pull up and then give you any karmic debt energies, explain that to you, what your current focus is in your personal year. So as I was continuing down into here, this is cycle energies, this is personal year data, this is the year that you were born and the years after that, and this is pinnacle data. And again, I'm not going to throw a whole bunch out here all at once. I could get, I could talk about this forever. I love it. And uh, I don't really want this first video to be too complicated. But to understand that once you see what this is, it's not extremely difficult to begin interpreting, okay, in the very basic level. I do want to say that a tool like this in the hands of someone who isn't a professional reader and maybe attempting to do a reading for someone, you can do redirecting with someone if you don't know what you're doing, okay? So I encourage you that if you are seeking numerology readings, 
you go with someone who has a great deal of experience, who has read many readings already, done many readings, read many charts, and has a very thorough understanding of what is on paper here. I have read and studied six, seven different, different types of looking at numbers in different patterns and different perspectives that people have on numerology and all kinds of different deeper and deeper meanings about numbers so that I am less going to read from a lower level here that would make a wrongful suggestion to you. And of course that goes with any types of readings. So anyone can sit back and have the numerology chart here and be reading, oh, you're a life path nine and this is what it is with reading proof. Well, you have to have done a great number of um, numerology readings already to have a good understanding of this. So, um, but in interpreting it for yourself, you can begin through working with someone like myself, understanding what you have upcoming and confirming what you feel about yourself through having a reading like this. So again, there is much more in here. And uh, so uh, what I generally do is usually approximately an hour long reading with you. It gives you an opportunity for me to show you the patterns in here. We can go back into the past and look at what you were doing. It's very interesting to look at what energies were there. And then um, I look at the current focus. And when I work with you, let's say, for instance, you're working through a time frame and um, look at this person. This person here happens to have a Y on the physical plane and two R's. Uh, one on the mental, one on the spiritual plane, and that adds up to a seven. And they're currently in an eight personal year underneath a three pinnacle and within a three cycle. That tells a story. There are very many different interpretations that I could do about that. I could look at this and say this person has the double R's. Uh, that means they may, and the seven which could be an extremely sensitive nervous system, extremely. I would look back to the other energies and see how that's relevant to that. I could also look at this and go, wow, the double threes and the sevens, uh, the nines and the seven there. This person is a phenomenal writer and or speaker. And they are the, a philosopher. They are in a heightened stage of producing a lot of material. The only reason I would know had, had I not even met the person or they, uh, again, I don't like someone to tell me too much information before we begin so that I can intuit first of all. And then as we go along, I'll get a little bit of feel and I may say, well, uh, are you using it this way? Are you using it another way, et cetera? Am I in the direction? Am I intuiting? Um, but I have to use my intuition. So intuition is powerful here. It is not just what's on paper. and Again, it's mutable. It's open, open to use. Okay, that is my powerful message. It's open to use. So, with that, uh, let me stop the share here and uh, we'll, we'll close out. So, again, my contact information you can reach me on my Facebook page if you did want to order any services with me. You could contact me in private message, or you could email me at thectechnique at gmail.com. And again, my website is thectechnique.com. So thank you very much for liking, for sharing. And if you have the opportunity, also subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Cindy Magnuson, where I have put up my... Uh, all of the radio shows that I've done so far, I do have another show also that is on numerology in the very beginning of those radio shows, and it talks about the archetypes and the numbers from their balanced and balanced expressions. 
So hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And um, we will see you for the next video, which is going to be, I think, on emotional freedom technique. So we will be tapping away in that next one. Thank you all. Bye-bye now.